The bird count was a huge success. Students, parents, and teachers got so much enjoyment and education from, from their participation that we were thinking maybe we could involve them in another citizen science project. Uh, we've been kind of toying with a couple ideas, but I'm not really sure. Like, what's equally cool to birds? Bugs. We thought it would be amazing if people had a similar appreciation for what bugs do, how amazing they are, and their importance in the world. You want people to count bugs? Well, not exactly. When we say bugs, what we mean are invertebrates, animals without backbones. But everyone usually calls those crawlies bugs. So much to teach, so little time. Invertebrates are the most numerous section of animal life that we know of on the planet. So it would be crazy to ask people to count them. What we thought was they could do a blitz of what invertebrate life is around them these days. Most of the time, the majority go undetected. Yeah, when you stop to think about all the jobs that these animals do in nature, without them, the world would be in trouble. So we should really stop, uh, take some time to understand how important they are, but also to know how many different kinds there are. And each different type does a bit of a different job. There are about one million known types of these friends out there in the world. That means one million different jobs that are being done by them. And they're so beautiful when you look at them closely, just like birds. Take a look at this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, maybe not that one, but this one. Usually we don't take the time to appreciate their beauty because we're running away from them so quickly. Wouldn't it be cool if people enjoyed them for their beauty and for their appreciation of their role in nature? You make a strong case. Let's go for it. I wasn't going to say anything, but I hope you find one of my favorite insects, the Degursa cratorum, you know, the one that's named after the Crap Brothers of Wild Crats. I love that show. Well, that one is found in Peru, so chances are very slim. But we are hoping people in the region will check out all the places around them for as many types as they can find, and perhaps they will find one that will become their favorite. You know, this is great. Uh, it's going to be so much fun and educational.